How you doing guys? Um, I, I just found out some very interesting news now. I, I happen to be, I have the Tangent Ripple. I happen to be on Tangent's website. Uh, often I update, upgrade firmware, uh, software applications. Um, so I was kind of looking to see if there's any new ones and I found this note down here. And this is through Ripple, Tangent Ripple and then Final Cut Pro 10. If you go down to the very bottom here, it has a note for the Apple Final Cut Pro 10 support provided by Command Post Beta. And this is for if you have uh, Final Cut Pro 10.4.4. Uh, now, you can't use it with um, other versions, but um, what I found out is you can use the Tangent Ripple with the Final Cut Pro 10 built-in color correction tools um, could be curves color wheels color board um, and stuff like that with the tangent wave without having to buy third-party plugins such as um, core melts chromatic or uh, color grading centrals color finale pro so this is a free solution I believe it's open source maybe I, I know it might be on github as well so if you take the um, link to uh, command post homepage. here you can download it the le recent version and it shows you setup information which I'm going to go over a little bit as well and so uh, let's get out of this real quick so once you uh, download and install it it'll ask you to get um, allow um, command post to have a uh, universal accessibility control with that application which you have to uh, uh, allow and then when once you do that you got to make sure the uh, tangent map is already installed first and then you go to um, preferences on the um, command post and this will just take a second to come up and then you select the tangent ta uh, tab and then enable tangent panel support and then uh, you're going to go ahead and go into your tangent mapper and you're going to select for select application you uh, select command post and you may have to restart all these applications when you once you have it set up and because um, I couldn't at first I couldn't get it to work and of course they have the global setting for the ripple um, they have board uh, wheels and video I could uh, I mean I've never used it this quite in depth so there's probably other aspects as well I could seem to get it work fine in the global the other ones not as much and this you have to do um, it's not set up right away you actually have to go and uh, set up each one of course just like the um, tangent ripple you have the shadows um, midtones and highlights on the right so on each one these will all be blank so the first one you would set up and they go to this tab here Final Cut Pro color inspector color wheels and then brightness and this will allow you to set this knob here and you see each one that you select will show you what it controls and and the first one is actually the uh, the dial and then the second one is going to be the trackball and then you're going to go here again Final Cut Pro 10 color inspector and it does it real fast color wheels and then you're going to select color wheel shadows horizontal and then once you do that for the last one same thing just about Final Cut Pro color inspector color wheels and then you're going to select color wheel shadows vertical so then you got the um, first one's the brightness uh, second one shadows horizontal and then ver uh, vertical last okay once you do that with all three then you do the same for midtones and highlights but of course you um, do the corresponding one uh, for each wheel that corresponds to the wheel that you're supposed to once you do that um, It seems to work fine. I've got some color wheels up to show you and 
First we're going to do the the knob, selector knob, and this is for the shadows. You can increase and raise just like that and of course press the left button that will reset. Same thing with the trackball for setting um, the different colors depending on where you're going to what color you're looking to map and then you simply click the right button and that will reset that and of course this is for all excuse me that's the uh, left one then the right uh, does the um, the exposure I guess you could say the brightness same thing with all, with all the other knobs corresponding will work uh, fine and great um, and so um, I'm surprised to see it working quite well. Of course, it was have to go in there and relearn the mapper in detail, which was pretty hard. I was just trying to get it to work. Now there's probably some other aspects as well. You may even be able to get the color board to work that way and or the curves, I'm not sure. So uh, that is some great news on getting, um, I guess, uh, command post. Uh, this is beta actually 38 by the way command post uh, to work with the tangent ripple and Final Cut Pro 10 built-in uh, color wheels uh, perhaps color curves and even color board uh, hopefully if you get it set up right so um, thanks for watching and see you guys later